Hey there, I'm Lush from FX, and today I'll be showing you how you can download and install BFX stylized VFX URP version, especially because URP and HDRP have some common misconceptions that have to be sorted out. So in this case, for example, if you use the 2D URP type of pipeline, it won't work because it's configured with a 2D renderer, and that's not the way we built this. So you should use 3D URP and then use the 2D option on that project there instead of using 2D rendering features because this is done for 2D apps and stuff like that. So if you want to make a game with it, use the 3D URP and then you can name the project wherever you want. Be sure to use the editor version 2021.3.1f1 at least or superior to that to make this work properly. So create the project. Once inside the project, we want to go to Window, Package Manager, and then stick this around and go to Packages, Unity Registry. It will search for packages, and then you can check Visual Effect Ref. Install this. It will be compiling some stuff and importing some other assets, so just wait for a bit. All right, so once it has been imported, just close a project and then reopen it again. So close it and open it again. Now we can access the package manager, go to my assets, and here you can find stylized BFX URP amongst all of your other assets. So re-download or download the asset in case you haven't downloaded it previously, and then import it into the project. You'll see all of those assets, just import. Okay, and now that the package has been imported, just close the project and open it again. To get yourself a high quality BFX asset pack, you can go to Unity Asset Store and then search for VFX. Here you'll find some BFX packs, but our packs should be around here. In this case, we're using this one. Please be aware that this is the stylized VFX for URP. These are not the built-in nor HDRP compatible assets, so be sure to check that out before you get it. If you want to get the other ones, you can go to our profile, and here you'll be able to see which ones are for the standard render pipeline, which are the ones that don't have any URP or HDRP tags on the thumbnail. So yeah, mostly if you're seeking for URP, you'll find all the URP assets here. Same for HDRP and same for the standard pipeline. I would highly suggest you to add those assets to your favorites or your wish list because we are always applying discounts and you might find the asset you want for a more attractive price. Great. Now let's go to BFX, stylized BFX URP, scenes, demo. You can navigate around the scene, but if you press play, you should be able to see that these shaders are compiling, but everything should be working perfectly. Select the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So if you want to know how to see all the elements that are there in the demo, you can access this PDF document here, which mostly tells you the controls. So you can press the right and left arrows to switch between the elements, but beware that each time you do that, some shaders might need to take some time to compile. So for example, let me change that to water and then you can see like it's laggy at first, but yeah, shouldn't be an issue. Afterwards, yeah, it needs to compile the heat effects as such, yeah. And now you can see them. Now, if you press the spacebar, you'll see the element switch into this slash, but you can see like there's a gray stuff there and it shouldn't be there really. So let's discuss why this is happening. So go to edit project settings and then here you'll find like the quality levels and stuff like that. Go to the render pipeline asset, in this case, the high fidelity one. And here you'll see two options that are unchecked, most likely if the project is new. So please check opaque texture and then depth texture. Only opaque should be necessary for this work, but like, yeah, check both. And now you can see the distortion successfully happening instead of that gray type of thing you saw there. So yeah, that should do it. Now you can switch the slashes with the arrow keys also. You'll see different elements, it has to compile. And if you press O, you'll see the different type of slashes, like the continuous slashes and everything like that. Then you press P to switch to the piercing slashes. And yeah, you press I again to go into the one shot. So yeah, if you press spacebar again, you'll go into the shot mode. And yeah, you can see different elements and everything should be working perfectly now. So yeah, that was something that had to be mentioned because not all the projects are the same and not everybody knows uh, all the, this kind of stuff. So yeah. I uh, hope you really liked the, the tutorial, the small tutorial on that. And yeah, hope you really enjoy our assets. So yeah, see you around. Bye.